Have you ever wondered who's going to pick the fruit? <laughs> Hey, this is Billy from Permit Pastures Farm coming at you again, once again from work. In fact, I've been here quite a while and uh, William and Michelle have been picking up the slack. It's just working long, long days out here. Anyway, as you can see over my shoulder, folks, I got the receptacle in. That, that took a little doing. Um, and now it's starting to rain again, as you can probably see on my safety glasses. Well, we are to the point now where the chickens are ready to come over here the only problem is the weather isn't cooperating but it's okay you know they may play that area out a little bit but folks this is the kind of design science where we plan for such things and if they're there a tad bit longer than they should be then it's it's no big loss because you know this this type of farming is very forgiving so if if they're there and they play the land out a little bit more than you want then you just pick it up on the next time you make corrections and you drive on it's a it's a pretty easy system Anyway, one of the bigger reasons I wanted to make this video today is because for the, I want to say maybe the sixth time someone has asked me, in fact, there were a couple of people I've done consultations for, gone to their houses, looked at the places, and they had opposition for this reason, and it's astonishing. The reason being, and I quote, who's going to pick all of the fruit? I don't know about you, but maybe that's got to be a first world problem. I guarantee you there aren't people in Somalia asking, hey, who's going to pick all this food? So it's clearly a first world problem and maybe one that we should seriously examine, I think. It seems to be a very big first world problem. Who's going to pick the fruit? Now, I would understand if there were concerns like, hey, we got, we got a giant orchard. There's fruit all over the place. What are we going to do with it? And in our cases, remember, we farm permaculture permaculture style so anything that we can't eat will go to our omnivores our chickens or pigs right apparently not apparently some folks are so trifling they can't get out there and pick the fruit that fell on the ground that maybe you don't have a plan b for but you know if anything you can throw it in the trash can i i can't imagine not growing passive food production because somebody's worried about who's going to pick the fruit anyway I, and I never in my life have ever heard such a thing. I mean, when we lived in Oklahoma, I never heard it. When we lived in Kansas, I never heard of it. And only down here, not picking on anybody in Texas, but this is the only place I've ever heard it. And I've heard it from members of my own family that are down here. And I've heard it from at least, at least three, possibly four other people in the same area that their chief opposition to growing any kind of fruit or even vegetables was, who's going to pick it? I don't know about you, but I will make time to pick free food. Anyway, anyway, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends about us. This is Billy from Permapastures Farm, but I'm at work. We'll see you next time.